Coming up on this week's festive episode of Theme Park Worldwide The Show, I've got all the latest theme park news from theme parks across the globe. I'm going to be opening my first Christmas present on camera in Merch Paradise, and of course, ask me anything and interact with me. I'm Sean Sandbrook, this is Theme Park Worldwide The Show, and that means it's time to cue those titles. And as always, a very festive welcome to this week's episode of the show. With it being just a few days to go now until Christmas, I'm so excited. I thought I'd come inside, sit next to the Christmas tree, make it a bit more festive for you guys. Uh, so yeah, I hope you're all ready for Christmas. And it's going to be absolutely fantastic, my Christmas this year. I've got it all planned out, what we're doing, spending a lot of time with family. And of course, it's just going to be a really nice, relaxing Christmas, uh, which is always quite nice. And then of course, when I go out to Florida, just a few days after Christmas, that's when it's really going to start getting like, oh my God, rushing about and doing everything so of course we're going to be over there me and Harry uh, from the end of December all the way through until the 13th of January where we're going to be bringing live updates from all the Florida theme parks and of course seeing in the new year at Walt Disney World Resort so I can't wait to go over there and see just all the decorations at the parks it's going to be absolutely fantastic and I'm sure you guys can't wait to see the vlogs from the trip also let's get straight in then with a little bit of news off the rails First off then, some news from Port Aventura. Now I'm sure you heard that back last Wednesday on the 14th of December at around 7.30pm there was a large fire inside Ferrari Land. Now Ferrari Land is the brand new area currently being built at Port Aventura. It's set to open at the start of April and hopefully that's still going to be on track. I mean, I'll talk about that in a second, but the fire itself, it seems to have burnt down a few of the facades to some of the buildings. How it was caused is not too sure yet, but... I mean, we're just going to be grateful that it hasn't really affected the roller coaster at all, the huge accelerator coaster. Uh, but yeah, a big fire happened. Luckily, there was no injuries, uh, but there was quite a flame. I mean, when you looked at pictures and video footage of it happening, you know, it was a huge flame, and it's actually caused quite a bit of damage to some of the facades of the buildings in Ferrari Land. Uh, the big Venice Tower, that's been completely destroyed. All it is now is the steel framework. It's such a shame when this happens, this sort of thing, but at the end of the day, they can't help it, and it's happened, but hopefully the park will plow going on Basically, there's no damage to the coaster itself, and in fact, both rides in the area have been testing this week, so the accelerator and the shot towers have both been sort of testing. Whether that's Port Ventura trying to get out there and say, yeah, we're going to be open for business in April, you know, yes, we've had a small fire, but we're going to battle on and we'll still be open. I mean, what I'm thinking is they won't want to break that deadline. They've been advertising in London on the underground, they've been advertising all around. They're not going to want to not open that park on the day they've stated, so I'm really thinking, you know, even if them facades and things Things aren't rebuilt they might just call them that section of the park off and you know and work on that once it's already opened who knows you know we won't speculate but we'll see what happens uh, when it comes around to april i'm sure if it's not going to open on time they'll do an announcement before that so we'll find out but yeah sad news from port ventura Following on from some more sad news earlier in the year, I uh, can't believe it, nearly Christmas, all this sad news. Uh, Dreamworld over in Australia uh, reopened back on December the 10th, so what, just over a week ago now. Uh, the Thunder River Rapids ride uh, it was located there, and the malfunction killed four people back in October. It was a horrifying accident. Uh, the fact it killed four people, very, very sad news from the park. However, the park has actually now reopened, so it reopened on December the 10th. The rapids will remain closed, and quite a few other rides are still closed at the moment as well, so it's it took quite a while for them to get the park actually open. Uh, you know, it's not like when Alton Towers had the accident with the Smiley, you know, they were back open within five days. You know, with, with this, you know, it took a couple of months, of course. There was no deaths with the accidents at Alton Towers, but with this one, you know, there was. Uh, so that was to completely check all the rides. Uh, so all the thoughts still go out to all the families and all people involved in that very, very sad accident over at Dreamworld. Uh, but so, so only some of the rides have opened at the park. Some are going to be coming back in the next few weeks as they're thoroughly checked again and again. Uh, so moving forward, the popular 
claw, the buzz saw, Tara Tara 2, all remain closed uh, as the investigations take place. And hopefully they're going to be back open soon. The actual rapids ride itself, the Thunder River Rapids, will be demolished. Uh, and another sign of the park returning to full operations, a summer pyrotechnic show is set to launch following Christmas. So they've got something really exciting planned for the future. And let's hope the park does have a future. You know, hopefully, you know, they seem to have had quite a good turnout over the weekend when they reopened. So let's see what happens uh, for the park in the future. Moving on to some more happy news to end news off the rails this week. And that's from Efteling over in the Netherlands. Now, of course, they're building their biggest dark ride yet, Symbolica. It looks fantastic. It's a trackless dark ride, similar to that of Mr. Manor over at Hong Kong Disneyland or Ratatouille at Disneyland Paris. You know, that's the sort of ride system we've got going in here. Uh, you know, it looks absolutely fantastic. The outside's all done now. The big castle, the magical castle. And this new dark ride celebrates the 65th birthday of Eftelin. There's a new episode every month going onto the park's official YouTube channel. The first one's actually gone online. It's called The Making of Symbolica at Eftelin. So make sure you check it out. They did one for Baron 1898 that I followed very closely. Brilliant episodes, really well filmed, so make sure you do check them out over on FTLN's official YouTube channel. And of course, as we move into the new year, we'll carry on giving you the updates here on the channel with all the construction over at FTLN. It's now time for a very, very special Merch Paradise. <laughs> Back at the start of the show, I said that I was going to open my first Christmas present here on Theme Park Worldwide. This is a very, very special one that has been sent from the guys over at Coaster Crate. Uh, now, a lot of you might have heard of Coaster Crate. It's basically a subscription box system where you subscribe and each month you'll get a different package arrive with you based on different theme park related items. So this is the first one. It's box zero. So if you guys want to keep this a surprise, I suggest skipping a few minutes more of this video uh, as I'm going to be having a look inside the box. So let's open it up and have a little look what we've got inside. So. Okay, so first up, ooh, there we go, we've got Euromouse, there we go, really old school Euromouse from Europa Park, that's really cool, I'm loving that, that's a nice item. So of course if you can't get out to these parks, this is a really good service to go for, and I've actually got a special offer to give you guys as well, so let's carry on with a look. Piece of uh, woven wood there from Europa Park, I've actually already got that piece already, uh, well, a similar piece, this one's the run to the lift bent, so I've not got this one actually, the exact one, it uh, tells you on the back just there. That's cool. Thanks a lot to the guys at Coaster Crate for sending this out to me. Moving on, this is probably, in my opinion, my favourite item in here. So, here we go. This is a really nice Coaster Crate branded t shirt. I'll be wearing that. I should have worn it in this episode of the show, shouldn't I? Uh, it's got all the lots of different elements on there vertical loop, incline twist, corkscrew, Elman, dive loop, cobra roll, batwing, and pretzel loop. So, that's cool. And you've got the Coaster Crates branding just in there as well, which is cool. I love all the logo and everything they've done. They've done a fantastic job, haven't they? Uh, along with that, okay, Coastiality. So that's, of course, from Europa Park. Lots of Europa Park stuff in Box Zero. Uh, you know, the guys at Europa are lovely, though, aren't they, though? So, you know, there we go. This is like your VR cardboard headset, similar to what Galactica had. So that's quite interesting what you got there. Ooh, dropped a few bits on the floor. <laughs> there we go. Got a couple of park maps. So, Movie Park and Light Water Valley, a few park maps. That's interesting. We've got a leaflet to have a look at here as well. Let's have a look at this. There you go. It tells you what you've got, basically, in your box contents. Your mouse plush, happy family badge. Awesome. Oh, yeah, there's a few little badges as well. That's really nice, actually. Little Star Trek Operation Enterprise. Little happy family badge. And, of course, I love how they finished it off with some stickers. Code to create stickers and some sweets as well. Oh, what's this? Oh, there you go. A little uh, minifigure as well from Europa Park. Lots of Europa Park related stuff in there, isn't it? So if you want to get Europa Park, that was the box for you. Uh, but yeah, what a brilliant system what the guys at Coaster Crate have set up. Now, to be honest, before this had come about, I hadn't even heard about this crate thing. Basically, you subscribe and, you know, you just get items sent to you. It's really, really cool. I just never heard of it, obviously, with there not being a theme park related one uh, and pretty much me doing everything theme park related in life. I just never heard of it, but it's a brilliant system. And the guys over at Coaster Crate, they sent me that so thank you very much and they want to get some to you guys so they've got a tpw offer that's been set up so all you need to do is go on the website 
on Coaster Great. Go to the checkout and enter in TPW Offer, all in capital letters, I'll put it at the bottom there, TPW Offer, and that will give you £2 off your first Coaster Crate, uh, your first Coaster Crate only, uh, and th that's for the first 10 people that use it from this video, so you have to be quick and you'll get your ten, uh, your ten £2 off for 10 people, not £10 off for 2 people. <laughs> so yeah, that's really worth checking out. The January box will be dark ride themed and customers must subscribe before the 31st of December to get that one. One. So what a brilliant system. Personally, I think that's great. I mean, especially if you can't get out there to the theme parks, it's definitely worth going for. If you can get out there to a lot of European parks, then it might not benefit you as much as, you know, someone who can't. But I think that's great. Like I say, you've got dark rides coming up in January. I really look forward to seeing what's in the box. And yeah, thank you very much to the guys at Coaster Crate for working with us in partnership with this. Fantastic. And keep up the good work. We love it. Questions, questions, questions everywhere. So it is time for Ask Me Anything. Before I go into my four questions this week, I've got a question to ask all of you guys. As we are coming towards the end of 2016, I want you to comment below on this video with your favourite video of any form that we've uploaded to our YouTube channel this year. Of course, I read to the comments, uh, all the comments on the videos. I reply where I can do. So make sure you comment below. Let me know what was your favourite video on the channel this year. So first question has come in from Luke. Hi, Luke. And you've asked, what do you think should be the next big project for Thought Park? a wooden coaster or a hybrid coaster along those lines either a bigger version of what Alton Towers is getting and I don't mean the same layout but a massive GCI wooden coaster of some form maybe around Loggers Leap if that's not opening next year like they've said uh, or an RMC so thanks for your question James has asked if I could ride any UK coaster this Christmas day dressed as Santa with anyone from TPW dressed as Elf or everyone from TPW dressed as an Elf what coaster would it be and who would be your Elf Oh, okay, so I can only have one elf. Well, it's going to be one person, hasn't it? Of course, I'd have Charlotte as my elf, and I'd be there on the front row of Olympia Looping or Munich Looping at uh, High Park Winter Wonderland. So, thanks for your question. Ben has asked, two interests I've got away from theme parks. Oh, interesting question. I like these sort of ones. So, I do a bit of DJing. I like my lighting and all that kind of stuff. I've actually got quite a big light interest in my room. Uh, so, yeah, DJing's one of those. My second one is actually cycling. I really enjoy cycling. I cycle to work sometimes. You know, it can be an 18 mile round trip, you know, there and back. So yeah, you know, I really do love cycling. So yeah, they're my two sort of hobbies, if you like, away from theme parks. When I get a chance to do them, that is. Uh, finally, we've got Aaron who's asked if I could create a new coaster for Drayton Manor for 2018, where would it go, what theme, and what would it be called? Well, lots to ask me there. I'd put the new coaster opposite to Stormforce 10 on the other side of the lake. I, I would, if I could, I'd have a Matt Mega coaster. I know it sounds silly with Blackpool having one, but it'd be more of a, a, Ma a Manta from uh, SeaWorld San Diego style. Check out the POV on the channel if you've not seen it. It's a very small Matt Mega coaster, still with two launches. I love it. I'm not too sure what I theme it to. Maybe. I just, I'm really not too sure. I do like steampunk, so maybe a steampunk style. And in terms of a name, something steampunk related. I'm sure you guys have all got better names than I have for things. But uh, yeah, thanks for your question. If you've got anything for next week, all you need to do is send it in via email. It's ask at themeparkworldwide.co.uk or send it as a private message on our Facebook page. So it is time for Interact With Me, the final section of this week's episode of the show. Bit of a small one this week, so if you've got anything you want to share on next week's episode of the show, make sure you send it in via the usual methods. First up then we've got Harry, not to be confused with Harry Turnstiles, with some coaster parts. Thanks for those, Harry. James has got his coaster crate out there as well. We're loving it, it's great, isn't it? Next up we've got Anthony with some Disneyland merchandise. Thanks for sharing that with me on the show. Jenny's got an off-ride shot of Olympia looping, so thanks for sharing that there, Jenny. Charlie's got a fan-drawn photo. Look at that. I mean, that looks just like me. I'm really, really, yeah, I can't believe how good that is. So thanks for sending that in. I've got, I'll put it in my collection. I've got loads of pictures of what you guys have drawn and sent in over the past couple of years. So thank you very much. I'll make sure I save that one as well. And finally, a big happy birthday to Emily. Well, that leaves me with one more thing to say before we wrap this episode of the show up. Have a very, very Merry Christmas from myself and everyone here at Theme Park Worldwide. It really has been an incredible year for the channel. We've done so many trips, done so many vlogs, and of course, we've just started our Planet Coaster series. A very, very exciting time for the channel. Seems that you guys are really enjoying it, so make sure you go and check it out. We'll have another episode in the next few days before Christmas, and it really is a fantastic series on the channel, so check it out. Have a very Merry Christmas. I hope Santa brings you everything that you want out there guys i'm sure he will do and i'll see you in between christmas and that trip to florida next wednesday for another episode of the show thank you very much for watching and that means it's time to cue those credits
Bye guys. Merry Christmas everybody.